If you have a second gen Tundra like I do, then you know the transmission has no dipstick tube to fill the fluid or to even check it. They call it a sealed transmission, not because it can't be serviced, but because they don't want you doing it at home. But today I'm gonna to show you how you can do it at home and be just as good and accurate as you would in a shop. So right under the driver's door, we've got this cross member underneath the car. And just forward of that, that's your transmission pan. And in the back of the pan, that's the drain bolt. Let's get a 14 mil on that. This is a four wheel drive, so I didn't jack it up. If you need to, make sure it's level, because when we check that level, it's gonna have to be level so it comes out correctly. Now you just heard that tank, that was the drain plug gasket that came off of the plug here. You can see that this washer has some dimension to it. I'm gonna put the raised edge of that washer against the flange of the bolt, and then the flat edge of the washer is going up into the pan. As you tighten this bolt down, you're gonna feel the pressure of it crushing down that washer, and that's a good thing. Just keep going until you hit the right torque. I'm going to move forward and still on the driver's side of that transmission and up past that drive shaft, right onto the side. You see that there? Okay, it's pretty tight access between the side of the transmission and this drive shaft here. This is four wheel drive, so that's what I've got to deal with. So get a shallow 24 millimeter socket and a long ratchet, that'll give you better access way up here to this fill plug. We'll get on that and then just give it a couple grunts. One grunt. Now here's that fill plug. It's just got that O-ring on there. As long as that O-ring is in good shape and not torn up, this is reusable. I gotta give my props to Walmart here. This tool is made in the USA for Walmart. Not bad. It's got an on off valve here at this end and a little stopper on this end so it doesn't leak. Now that's trash, it's a little too short. That's why I bought this. This is 5 eighths from the Home Depot. This opening is a little bit bigger than what's on the tool. So let's take the adapter out of the tool and that fits these threads just fine. All right, I've got the long tube now. I'm gonna go just behind the engine and on the inside of the exhaust. We're going way to the back of the engine, driver's side. All right, we've got that tube in there and it's not sagging because remember, we have to use gravity to get that transmission fluid in there. So make sure it's tight and going up. So this video is about saving money for the DIYer, but right here, the transmission fluid is someplace where you should not save money. Get the Toyota stuff. ATF WS. Toyota does make different types of ATF. WS is what you want for the Tundra. Okay, here's the fun part. Let's get one of these quarts ready to go. And you can time me in real time to see how fast this is compared to using that pump, which I have to admit is actually pretty slow. All right, you ready? Open it up. Here we go. I'm gonna give a little bit of an air hole. There you go. I'm not seeing any leaks on the floor at all. No drips, no nothing. This is great. Look at that. That's the whole quart. Done. Time. All right, here we go. I've just got the tube up so we can get all of it drained into the transmission and it'll clean up for us. And still got my drain pan here. I'm gonna let that tube sort of empty out into the pan so I don't get that on my floor. I think I got a little bit excited putting the entire case of fluid in there. We probably only needed five quarts because fluid is starting to come out of the fill hole right now and that's not supposed to happen. Okay, that fill plug is gonna go back in there now. Still got the O-ring on it. Just gonna put it in, thread it in by hand, and then we'll snug it up with that ratchet. <laughs> so that wasn't perfect, but it was pretty awesome. Easier than using the pump and much, much cheaper. Now, in case you're wondering, I just measured that tube. It's 54 inches long, so just over four feet. Okay, driver's side of the car now. Let's go back under there. Coming in from the bottom, there's that drain plug. And over on the passenger side, right there, that's a check plug. It even says check right on it. We're gonna remove that after we start the engine. But if you have a 2018 or older, this is an oil cooler. This is the transmission cooler. And right up here is the thermostat for it. Now we're gonna need a grenade pin like this. You can use a drill bit or whatever you have, but it's gotta go through the hole that's on the side here. 
And then we're gonna take just a flathead screwdriver and push that button in. Take this grenade pin and go right through the hole. Okay, see how that pin goes all the way across from one hole to the other and it just blocks that pin in there? That's what you want. It just keeps it open so that we can measure it properly. All right, I've just got this really cheap Tac Life infrared thermometer. I'm just gonna point it here at the side of the pan and get a reading. We're at 83.6 degrees. Let's check that against what the computer is telling us. There you go, it is 89.24. So we're close, we're off by about five degrees. So my solution here is that we're going to take a measurement at the transmission pan, and then whatever that reading is, we're gonna know that inside is a little bit warmer. So we're gonna put the plug back in when we're at the low end of the range here on the outside of the pan, and that means we'll still be good on the inside. Hope that makes sense. Okay, five millimeter hex socket ready to go, and I have a brand new crush washer. This will be for when we put the plug back in. Now remember, this check plug must stay in while the engine is off. Once you start it, you can pull that check plug out at any time, but do not turn the engine off while that plug is out. It's gotta be running or else you'll spill all of your transmission fluid right out the bottom here. All right, let's start it up first. And we're gonna run it through the gears slowly. First reverse. Let that cycle, put it into neutral. What you wanna do is just make sure that all those passages are full of oil before we check the level. I'll monitor the temperature of the transmission from here, but I'll show you how to do it the other way. We had way too much transmission fluid in here, but that's okay. We're gonna just dump it out until we get to the right level. So next time I'm gonna start with five quarts and I won't waste this much. I can feel these catalytic converters starting to warm up. The pan feels a, just about body temperature. We'll take the thermometer. We've got almost 100 degrees. And on the scanner, we're at 109 degrees. So it's almost time to close this thing off. So I would say once you feel this pan get just about 100 degrees, you're good to go. Let's torque this down, and then we'll be safe to shut off that engine. Remember that this cat is hot now. So you don't want to touch it. Just be careful. Reach up there without touching that and pull straight out. Okay, we got this job done at just about dusk. It's almost dinner time, so I'm ready to go. This job is a spill and fill, and I think I'll be doing that every 20,000 miles to keep this transmission going for as long as possible. As far as this Tack Life and this Autel tool goes, I've got them linked down in the description so you can check those out for yourself. Included with that is a complete tool list so you can go to Walmart and Home Depot to get everything that you need to do this job yourself. Now, if you wanna see how this job is done with the pan off or anything else that I've done to this Tundra, a complete playlist is right over here. You can click that and I will see you there.